Hello and welcome everybody to this tutorial about how to create the CNC machine in SOLIDWORKS. Here is the energy gap, mechatronic engineer. So this time we created uh, the chassis of the system. Today I'm going to show you how to create other parts um, that uh, are be uh, assembled on the chassis. Uh, so we're gonna see the screw holder Okay, so we go in new Start 3D representation And you go in sketch Sketch, select the faceplate Always a center line in any sketch, it can help uh, I'm gonna draw uh, Rectangle. Okay. Give it some dimensions to begin with. Twenty-five. Twenty-eight. Uh, we remember that the dimensions are taken in a way that uh, all the parts can be assembled together uh, at the end. Uh, so, gonna need to draw circles here and the up corner. Dimensions of the inner circle 12. Dimensions of the outer circle 20. Okay. So uh, the distance between the circle and the end of the rectangle is about 47. Okay, uh, our part is begin to take shape. Uh, here we need to link. Not this way, but we're gonna use tangent segment. We go here. Uh, we click on the uh, on any of the corner of the uh, circle, and there we have a spinning line that is always tangent. Uh, and then we link it to the rectangle. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna draw the holes. That allows us to assemble our part to the chassis. We create some random circles and we're gonna give them dimensions. We remember that the, all the dimensions of the circle are about 2.4 diameter. Okay. Uh, the first circle is spaced with a distance of 5. Second one, the distance of 21. Okay. And they are far from the center line, with a distance about 22. 22 here also. Uh, next, what we need to do is to uh, like make a mirror drawing uh, that uh, uh, I apologize for this uh, it's about 5 not 2.4 I wonder it was too small ok we go here mirror entities mirror about you always choose the construction line and then we are gonna choose all the entity here Ok, this line also. Great. And then you're gonna trim some entity here with this function, trim entities, and you select in options, trim to closest. We delete this segment, this one. Ok, this is ok. Yeah. yeah that's good. 
Now we're gonna leave this sketch and begin to extrude our model. We go in features, extrude, base. We choose an extrusion of 6 millimeters. Okay. Now you see that I uh, only selected the uh, rectangle sketch fusion 1, sketch fusion 2 here and selected contours. I did not select the two circles because I need this uh, extrusion to be thicker. So I go here, we go to plus, I select sketch 1 and I select the extrude uh, function again. And then I will choose the space between the two circles. So to have it a little bit thicker, I'm gonna add a small depth here, like 0.5 millimeters. Okay. And in the other direction, direction two, I select it and then add the same distance that I added before, 0.5. Okay, if the model run away is no problem. Okay, now it's good. If you like, uh, you can add some color. For me, it's gonna be gray. It was gray color is good. Okay, and we uh, save it. Since the machine. Screw holder or screw support. Nice. The next part is a bit of interesting. We're gonna draw an engine, the uh, electric step motor that actuates our CNC. We go in new. 3D representation and then we're gonna draw uh, we're gonna sketch of course sorry sketch and the face plane we draw this uh, rectangle the rectangle is 32 depth and width 32 also square um, then we choose to add the center hole we go in center line and we approach the middle point here okay so the center of the sketch is the middle of the center line, the middle of this segment. So we need to go a center hole, which is gonna be the housing of our motor shaft. It's about eight millimeter of diameter. Okay. And then we gonna do some fillet, sketch fillet. But not so important. We're gonna decrease the radius. Uh, and choose one. It's very small fillet. Okay, always. Okay. Okay. So we are done with the first uh, surface of our engine. It's a square of fillet. Okay, we exit. And then we extrude. We choose to have an extrusion of 5 millimeters. That's good. Okay. And then I'm gonna need to uh, draw the uh, next surface. So 
As usual, I need the center line. Okay. And then I'm gonna decrease the depth of this corner to make the beautiful shape of the uh, electric motor. So how I do that? I'm gonna draw just two lines in the corner, randomly space it, and we're gonna choose a space of four between the tip and the line. So we do not need this dimension. Need this one is about four. Okay, good. We choose to trim the uh, exceed the files. And then uh, I choose this point and I'm gonna go straight to the middle line. And the same thing uh, here. I'm gonna go the same distance. And then I need a fillet of one millimeter. Do a fillet like this, like this, and the third fillet like this. Which is okay. Now the second shape of our engine is beginning to take form, so I need to reproduce by mirror this shape the first time. Okay. Uh, I need to rely this point. same thing here this is the middle and then again a mirror but I'm gonna need to define the uh, mirror about the center line it's it goes from the center and it goes parallel here. I go back to mirror entity, mirror about, and then I choose all the lines, also these two me. Great. Oh no. I'm gonna extrude some. So, we leave the sketch, we go on future and we choose extrude base. The total is Extrusion is gonna be about 50, 57. Okay, not bad. This is uh, good, good enough. So I need some more details, like the holes here. Now it's better to draw them uh, here. We select the face and we. Select sketch in the floating menu. We we'll go normal, always. So, uh, as usual, the center lines always here. Center lines. And then the holes that I'm gonna draw with circles need to be spaced here with a distance of 14 14 and the same thing here 14 ok we do some mirror reproducing Mirror again for the two circles. Okay. Now we have our holes. We only need to uh, exit sketch and to do an extruded cut. Okay, it's no problem if it goes to the end. We only need these. So uh, the next step is gonna be the shaft. We go here and we select the inner surface under the 
center uh, circle which was uh, to do a sketch on it choose circle we choose the outer circle so it shows uh, its uh, center and from this center we're gonna draw This shaft needs to be about 6.5 diameter, not so thick. Okay, we exit now, we choose extruded base, and we do an extrusion of 12. 12 is good, so maybe 14. Okay. Just a little chamfer here to show us. It's like a real shaft. Uh, this is too much, maybe 0 0.4. Good, very good. So, only needs uh, to be painted now, but before I'm going to show you a, a very good uh, and very useful uh, function. Here we go, cool. split line. Oh, sorry, but before we need to draw these lines, so I select uh, the surface from the side and to sketch in the floating menu. I go normal and I draw uh, two lines. We go in a little bit uh, upper than the uh, dimensions of the model, like this. And you're gonna choose some distance between them here, 47. The other one is too much close, and here is 10. Mm -hmm. It decreases uh, this uh, distance a little bit, 43. Okay, and then we choose exit sketch. If our sketch is selected in the Creation tree we go or curves split line mm -hmm. sketch to project with uh, the two lines that we have drawn and here face to split I'm gonna need all the faces and you cannot select I guess oh, it's good is efficient enough we select all the faces with the left uh, click and the quick move to select all the surface. Okay. Good. Then we hit OK and we have our motor that is split. And it add some colors. Black color for uh, the center piece. Black color. Okay, with faces or uh, with the whole part or with bodies. It's a whole body. Okay, by faces. And I choose black. Not all the faces are going to. So uh, we leave this for now. I'm going to just save the engine and uh, you're free to add the colors you want. And add step motor. A stepper motor. So, thank you everybody for watching and uh, don't forget to follow. Uh, see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.